Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. In this video, we will talk about a library called matplotlib, which you can use with OpenCV images. So first of all, what is matplotlib? So matplotlib is a plotting library for Python, which gives you a wide variety of plotting methods. And on the official website, which is matplotlib.org, you can see matplotlib is a Python 2D plotting library which produces publication quality figures. So it's primarily a 2D plotting library, but it's widely used with OpenCV to display graphs and images and histograms. So we will see how we can use matplotlib with OpenCV. It's also written here that for simple plotting, the pyplot module provides a MATLAB-like interface. So first of all, let's see how we can install matplotlib and then we are going to see how to use matplotlib with OpenCV. So to install matplotlib using pip, you just need to open your terminal and then just give this command which is pip install matplotlib and then press enter and in some seconds this matplotlib library will be installed using pip. So now you can see matplotlib is installed on my windows operating system and to check it I'm going to just give the python command and here I'm going to import matplotlib. So I'm going to just write from matplotlib import pyplot as plt okay and then press enter and if this import doesn't give you any error that means it's imported successfully and you can start using matplotlib now as we are using pycharm ide let me show you how you can install matplotlib on pycharm so just open your pycharm ide and then here just click on file and then settings and then go to project colon your project name my project name is opencv examples and then click on interpreter and you can see other uh, packages are already there and we just need to install the matplotlib package so just type here in the search matplotlib and you will be able to find matplotlib here in the results so just uh, click on matplotlib and then just click on the install package. So I'm going to just click on the install package and in some seconds matplotlib library will be installed in your PyCharm IDE. So you can see this message which says package matplotlib installed successfully. That means we can close uh, this uh, window and then you will be able to see matplotlib is available in your project interpreter. So everything is fine and I'm going to just close this and now I will be able to import matplotlib. So I'm going to just write from matplotlib import pyplot as plt. Now in order to show the image which you read using the opencv I'm read method you can use uh, this uh, code so just write plt dot I am show so there is also a method inside your pyplot uh, library which is available inside matplotlib and this method you can use to uh, show the image which you have read from the opencv I am read method so for now just write this kind of code and to show the matplotlib window you just need to write plt dot show so this is going to show this image using the matplotlib library so we are opening this image using the opencv i'm show window as well as matplotlib window also so let's run this code and let's see what's the result which we are getting so you can see this is the image which is loaded using the matplotlib and this was our original image which is loaded using the OpenCV library. 
and straight away you can see some difference. So this is the original image which is the colored image and in the matplotlib uh, window we also want the same result but it's giving us the different result. And the reason behind this is OpenCV reads the image in the BGR format and the matplotlib reads the image in the RBG format. So in order to show this kind of colored window using matplotlib, you need to convert your image from BGR to RBG and then only you will be able to see this kind of colored image using matplotlib. So I'm going to just uh, close these windows and now after I'm showing this image using the CV2 I'm show method, I'm going to convert this image. So I'm going to just write IMG is equal to CV2 dot CVT color. And then I'm going to convert this image from BGR image. So I'm going to just write CV2 dot color underscore BGR to RGB. Okay, so our matplotlib library shows the image in the RGB format and uh, the OpenCV reads the image in BGR format. So now we have converted our image from BGR to RGB image and now we are showing this image using the matplotlib and let's run this code and let's see what happens now. So now when we run this code, you see both the image looks the same right now let's see the advantages of using matplotlib so you can see this is a quite static uh, window but when you see in matplotlib when you hover over this image you can see x and y coordinates of uh, the mouse point and this is helpful you can also save this image in the form of a png file so you can just press this and save this image wherever you want. You can also zoom this image if uh, this feature is available. There is also configuration subplots options. So you can, uh, you can just increase uh, these values left, bottom, wherever you want to uh, place your uh, image, you can uh, do that. These are some options which are available here. You can also reset these options and you can see uh, the coordinates here. So because matplotlib is primarily a 2D plotting library, so you can see the X coordinates and Y coordinates. And because this image is about 512 by 512 uh, pixels, that's why here it's showing zero to 512 and here also on the Y axis, 0 to 512. So this is how you can load your uh, image using matplotlib. And now I'm going to show you one more thing. And this is when you write plt dot x ticks here. And then when you pass empty array here, which is empty square bracket, comma plt dot y ticks. And also here you pass uh, empty array. This is going to hide the tick value on X and Y axis. So now when I run this uh, code and you can see now that these X ticks and Y ticks on X and Y axis are gone. So let me just uh, comment this out once again and you will be able to see this X and Y coordinates here on the image and when you use this uh, code which is to hide the ticks on the x and y axis then you will see the image without these uh, x and y axis ticks so if you remember in the last video we have seen how to uh, use simple thresholding in opencv and we were using six windows to show these six different images using opencv now let's say you want to show all these six uh, windows in one matplotlib window. How you can do it with the use of uh, matplotlib, I'm going to show you. So first of all, we are going to import matplotlib, uh, import 
pi plot as plt and then what we are going to do is we are going to define the titles and then we are going to define these six different uh, titles for six different images so first one is our original image second was uh, the trash binary third was trash binary inverse fourth was trunk fifth was two zero and six was two zero inverse in the same way we are going to define a variable called images and inside this square bracket we are going to pass first of all our original image and then uh, th1 comma th2 comma th3 comma th4 comma th5 okay so these are the six value we want to show and these are the six titles of these uh, uh, images and now we are going to use the for loop so for i in x range so using the python x range we are going to just iterate over these six values so i'm going to just write x range and then the range we are going to provide here is six and then inside this for loop we are going to just call plt and we are going to call a method called subplot okay and this subplot method takes few arguments so first argument is the number of rows which we want to show in our matplotlib plot so because we have six images so we are going to divide these images into two rows and three columns so the first argument here is the number of rows and the second argument here is the number of uh, columns and the third argument here will be the index of the image so the index of the image will be i plus uh, one and then we are going to write comma plt dot i am show so this is going to show this image and the index of the image so we are going to just write uh, images and then square bracket i so this is going to give you a particular image at index i and then we want to show this image as a grayscale image so anyway when you use thresholding you use the grayscale image so you just need to write uh, gray here then we are going to show the titles of these images so we are going to just write plt dot uh, title and then this title method takes uh, the title name which we are getting using this titles array and then at the index i this is going to give you uh, the title name which we have declared in this title array and at last if you don't want to show the ticks on the images you can give uh, these two method which is plt dot x ticks uh, and the argument here is the empty list and also plt dot y ticks and the argument is the empty list and at the end what we want to do is instead of uh, using this kind of code we just want to show our uh, window so we can just say plt dot show and this is showing us uh, this error unresolved uh, reference yes so this is when you are using uh, python 2 but in python 3 this x range is changed to a method called range and that's why it was giving us the error so let's run this uh, script once again and you can see six different results and six different titles so these are all the titles which are shown here and then the result are shown under these titles so using matplotlib you can include multiple images into one window and this is very useful when you want to show multiple image at the same time in the same window so this is how you can use matplotlib library with open cv images and there is a lot of things which you can do with matplotlib so if you want to learn more you can just go to the official website which is matplotlib.org and then uh, you will be able to see more uh, documentation here so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next